Well, after a trip round the uh, drawing room on a model train, uh, back to electronic things. These speakers belong to my parents and uh, were part of a Toshiba stack hi-fi system they had. It must have been around 1980, I should think. And it was a bloody good system. Uh, when my father remarried, eventually, when uh, Bum passed on, in fact, he took most of it with him. The cassette deck and the amp and the tuner. And, uh, fortunately, good good thing on that was it had an auxiliary input. So when CDs came on, uh, he could plug a CD player in. So uh, that's, that's still going well, but... Uh, at their new house, these speakers apparently were just too darn big. So I can't see it myself, but never mind. So I brought them back here. They're not actually Toshiba speakers. They were made by Goodman's in this country and just branded as a Toshiba. But they are good. There's a very good sound comes out. There's a proper three-way crossover. And proper tweeter and there's your mid and there's your woofer and it's got uh, a very nice fabrics around it's not rubber so shouldn't rot out uh, what was happening in the end the black cloth on them was getting a little bit tired Partly because of my stepmother's cats, I suspect, scratching at it. Horrible things. I just uh, swear at them in cat language. And they leave me alone, which I like. <laughs> but, uh, so what do you do? Well, the answer was to recover them in new material. And I've done the one. And uh, so I've just got this one to do now. Fortunately the uh, cloth grills come off easily. And I've got a pair of Philips speakers I found for the little Philips Hi-Fi I've got. And the fronts come off those too. But uh, you'll have a hell of a job to get into them if you ever have a speaker problem. Because they're, uh, I think they just get a, a strip of chipboard, miter it and... Uh, bore it out accordingly and then they just wrap it round the front where the speakers are fitted that's it you you can't get into it but these things they're quite good they do give a very nice sound uh, there's your terminal connections and up there let's put it on the macro there we are you can just about make it out there they can't make up their mind if it's 4 or 8 ohms. But at least the power handling shown in watts RMS, so you know where you are. And you can see it says made in UK. I wonder why they did it. I, the only thing I can think of is that uh, the speakers are really boxes of air, aren't they? And you know, it might have been a bit expensive to ship them. So they had them made locally. Anyway... Hope you liked them. I know I like the sound. I'll have to give them a blast for you one day soon. Bye for now.